Video number four, Salesforce Developer Edition org setup. You might have guessed it right. Of course, we need a Salesforce Developer Edition org for this entire process. In case if you do not have a Developer Edition, you can create your Developer Edition org by using this link. You can create your Salesforce Developer Edition org for free. All you need to do is fill out this form and just like how we did for a GitHub account, you will be getting an email to the email that you have mentioned here. Verify that email that you are using and once done, you will be able to set your password, confirm the password, and once that is done, you will be able to access your developer edition org. How to log in into your Salesforce developer edition org that you have just created? Use login.salesforce and you will be able to Give your username and password, click on login, and you will be able to log in into the Salesforce account. In case if you have already, already have a developer edition org, congratulations, you can skip step number one. And as a part of this exercise, we would be using this package, which would have a single object and two fields inside it. We are creating this object and these two fields from this package. We'll be using this so that we would install it in our dev edition or that we have just created. Inside this package, we have an object and two fields in it. The idea here is we'll be using our two developer edition orgs, one acting as a dev org, second one acting as a production so that we can see these changes. I would like to install this package in my dev, so-called dev org. I'm calling it as dev org. Remember that we are using two developer edition orgs for this process. I'm naming one of the org as dev and other org I'll be using it as production. I'll be creating this object and two fields with the help of this package. I'll be installing that package in this org so that I have these changes. Suppose that we'll be using our GitHub repository to move those changes into the GitHub. And once that is done, We'll push those changes to the production with the help of CI job that we have set up in our copad. So that is the entire idea. In case if you do not have a second developer edition or as a production, feel free to create it with the help of this link.